Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. In the last lesson we were doing some of the attack of our character, so we can slash, we have the animation. And what I want to do today is fix some errors we have on the previous lesson, some little problems, and then we're gonna add an enemy. And the enemy is right here, you can see it, hi, it's a little mummy that I just downloaded, so you can download it from the asset store as well. And we're use, gonna use this little guy as our first enemy that we can slash down and get some experience. Let's do it. First of all, I just went to the asset store and download this character, just trying to find it. Just type this chibi mummy in the Google store and download it. Then you will see it has a demo scene. So we want to open that demo scene. And what I did was drag this mummy rig into a folder I call my prefabs. So just drag it because we're going to be using this mummy rig as a prefab. So then we go back to our main scene here and I'm going to delete this guy. So I create an empty game object and I'm going to put it on zero, not one, but zero, zero, zero. So we have it here and I'm going to call this, this rename to mummy. And then we're going to drag the script, not the script, we're going to drag the prefab we just created from the mummy rig, we're going to put it inside our mummy. And we make sure the position is zero, 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 and we need to rotate it accordingly, so I think just a zero like this. And then we rotate this mummy in minus 90 degrees, because we want to put it at the right of our character. It's going to be our first enemy. We just place it here. And Right now you see it has an animator called Mummy Control. I want to make my own animator. So I'm going to create an animator controller. I'm going to call it Mummy underscore animator. And I'm going to place it in the Mummy's Rig animator component here. So we're going to open up this animator. You see we have an entry. We don't have any, we don't have any state yet. And we want to go to the Chibi Mummy models, and here we have all the animations. So we want a few animations this time. We want idle animation. So I'll drag this, and this is going to be our default state. We want a take damage animation right there. We also want a maybe we want a walk animation so we can follow our character. And we want a death animation. So I think they have a death animation here, death. So right there. And as before, we also made a transition state. So I'm just going to call it transition. And I'm going to connect all this like we did before. And I'm going to set the transitions state to do not have exit time. So none of them has exit time. And I'm going to set the condition. So first, we don't have any condition in this animator. So we're going to create a new one. Oh, and I created a layer. That's wrong. We have to here in parameters. We click the parameters tab and I'm going to create a new integer called condition, just like before. And whenever it the trans, uh, whenever the condition is zero. So here, whenever the condition is equals to zero, we go this way. When the condition is something else, not equal to zero, we go to the transition state. For death, I like using the number four because I will always remember it. And maybe you guys can guess why. In some Asian cultures, four is said same as the word die or very similar. So that's why we use four in that way. And to take damage, we're going to use um, three. Yeah, it must be three because I forgot one animation. That animation is attack because we want the mummy to attack us too. So um, we're gonna drag that animation now. Uh, I think it's this one, hit here. We're gonna drag this and this is going to be the number two it must be equals to no it must not be equal to two in order to go to the transition and it must be equals to two in order to hit us so to attack 
I'm just gonna place these here so he's a little more tidy. So he's walk, heat, take damage, and death. All right, I want to do an enemy class and then maybe we can have some other classes extending our enemy class. But right now we're going to just use the enemy class as a main class. We are not going to extend. So for example, we can have enemy and then we can have air enemy uh, or different types of enemy that extend the class and then they have special properties. But we're going to do that later on. Right now, we're just going to select our mummy and make a component called enemy controller and right now I just want to set the animator so that we can set its animations let me make this bigger we're going to make a public animator anim and we're going to have a public function public void get hit we also want to have a public float called health so this is the health of our enemy. Uh, we want to have a public float exp grant. Uh, that's when we kill it. So how much exp is going to give us? We want a public float attack damage. And we want a public float attack speed. And we want a public float move speed and I should follow my uh, yeah I'm just gonna do it like this oh and this we need actually we need a total health and we need a public float current health I think later we will add some stuff like defense magical resistance and all those things that are the beautiful part of an RPG game but right now we just see we have a bunch of, of variables here and the first variable we want to assign is just drag this mummy rig into our anim because it's, that's our animated controller here's where we're going to call the transitions uh, the, the, where we will set the conditions for the animation to change and we can actually go and test this right now so if I go here next to our little mummy we see it's moving just idling around and we will try to set these conditions. So let's, if I do one, it's going to walk. If I do two, it's going to hit us. Yeah, it's quite slow. We have to uh, tidy up that. It gets damaged and then we die. Oh, <laughs> so we're going to call, uh, change these animations when we hit on here, get hit for example. So let's do that right now um, get hit is going to anim dot set condition set integer sorry not set condition we want to set the integer called condition with a three that's how we get damage right so every time we do that we're going to set the integer to a three and then we want to reset that after after a couple of seconds maybe after a second we want to reset that to idle so i enumerator and call it and uh, recover recover from heat okay just to make it very explicit very understandable and we're going to yield return new wait for seconds i think i want to give it I want to make a test. I want to see if I give it 0.1 second and then I use has exit time, is it going to be able to get into the get damage state, complete the animation, and then because the condition was set back to zero, which is the idle animation, is it going to wait until the animation finishes before going back to idle? So let's try that. So as you see, I will give it a 0.1 second delay to wait for it. So it can go from idle to transition to take damage. Then after 0.1 second, it's going to the condition is going to set back to zero. But because we will have has exit time here, we will wait for this animation to complete in order to be able to go back to transition and then idle. 
so let's try it but first I want to make this very fast so all our transitions to the transition state should be very short like this and we want to make it over here we want the take damage animation to complete before going to the transition state so I'm going to call here if input dot get mouse button down if we click with the left click we are going to call get hit and remember here when we call get hit we want to call the coroutine recover from hit okay because we were just hit and we want to recover from that I mean the mummy wants to so now we we play this we're going to walk to the right if we click we see we have a <laughs> yeah it works it goes back to idle as I expected if we if our take damage animation oh what happened it's not going back something's broken anyway if we didn't have the has exit time in this option you see idle will from idle we will go to the take damage animation but before it can even finish then we will set it back to being idle so if I remove the has exit time you can see you see it doesn't finish really it just waits for 0 0.1 second and it stops so we need the has exit time and i think we can do something similar for our attack animation in our character we will use this same solution to deal with with our attack animation problem that we have with the player that which is that if we attack once we're not going back automatically to all the animations so we are going to use the attack routine to do something very similar so the thing we need to do is after one second has passed we want to set the condition so set integer in the animator we want to send it back to idle the idle animation which is zero and the other thing we want to do is select our player here and we want to set the transition from attack to transition state to be to have exit exit time okay so when we have exit time we don't care if the condition is occurring right now until we have finished playing our animation so we want to drag this over here because we want to give it enough time to finish the whole animation so i'm just going to put it there and now i'm going to play so okay and i really don't like that i'm going to reset the condition back to zero so when we start we start just in idle so now if i move uh this is normal but now if i attack you see after a second up there the condition turns back to zero automatically so we can attack and we can keep attacking oh crap i, I think i broke it <laughs> we could do it we could do it here in a much faster way so is we make a yield return you wait for seconds and i'm sorry for my cheap fixes but I just want to move on with this tutorial as fast as I can and then we're going to fix it as much as we want to fix it so I'm going to attack and you see the condition now turns back to zero much faster so I can attack and it's always going to turn to zero I guess yeah I think it works better this way so yeah we can go now and if we see our mummy Oh, it's not getting hit what happened to this guy the condition is zero and we're stuck in here huh okay let's do it again yeah now we have to match their time and all of that and we're going to keep doing that as i said on the next video so thank you very much for watching guys uh, basically now we have the tree of animations for our mummy we have our tree of animations for our player and we are going to i'm going to do the next video as soon as possible i promise so thank you for watching please like this video subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time goodbye